Morning lads, how you doing? Welcome to Maggie TV, welcome to my channel. This is a Chelsea fan channel dedicated to all that is Chelsea, Chelsea Football Club. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the uh, Chelsea against Sheffield United fixture later on this afternoon. So before we get into the video lads, do us a favour, subscribe to the channel and turn the bell notification button on. Let's jump in. Okay, so later on this afternoon, we're going to be facing Sheffield United. A team that is struggling considerably this season. A team that had a very good season last season. But this season hasn't been great for them. One player that will be missing for them is Ampadu. Ampadu will not be playing because he's a Chelsea lad and he's only out there alone. Therefore, he is not permitted to participate in the game against Chelsea. So. The game, in theory, should go quite well. We should get the three points and we should have an easy time of it, in theory. But it doesn't always go to plan. It doesn't always go to what it's supposed to be. And it can go pear shape and we can have a bad result just like we did last season against these lads. We don't want to see that. We want to see Chelsea perform well and get the three points. Now, lads, there's a couple of things that we need to understand. We are going to be missing two key players in this game. We're going to be missing Christian Pulisic uh, down to his reoccurring hamstring injury. Christian Pulisic will be out in this game. And, you know, we thought the injury wasn't too bad, but it, it is a little bit more serious than we had thought. And then he's doing light training and he's also going out on international duty. So what is it? Is he injured or not? Christian Pulisic's situation is quite baffling and his reoccurring injuries is a little bit of a funny one, lads, because, um, you know, it's happening a lot with Christian and uh, I'm not sure if it's, you know, if he's a fragile lad or if he's being pushed too hard or he pushes himself too hard in training. So, lads, this is a situation that we need to look into and we need to know why is Christian Pulisic getting injured so regularly? Why is it happening? The coaching staff and the physios and the management need to address this and address it quick because Pulisic is a very important player in our team. Another player who is not going to be playing tomorrow is uh, Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz tested positive for the virus and will be out for a little while, which is which is alright because uh, the man's been playing you know uh, week in week out and a rest would do him good. Also, there's international duty and um, and he can't go because he's isolating. So I guess he's going to have a good couple of weeks off, a good rest. So um, hopefully he'll come back uh, eager and quicker and sharper and fitter for the rest of the season. So those two players are not going to be playing. Now in regards to the uh, rest of the team, uh, the formation and the squad, I'll be honest with you lads, I'm getting a little bit bored of making these uh, lineups because half of the team ain't going to change. And that is the goalkeeper and the back line. Because really, we have, for the first time in a long time, we have had a stable back line. Okay, we've got four defenders and a goalkeeper that will be playing week in, week out, unless there's an injury or there's a fitness issue. And that is uh, Mendy in goal, with um, Rhys James on the right, Chilwell on the left, and Zuma and Silva in the middle of the park. And lads, you know, we've been talking a lot about how good Silva has been in defense and in the way he has handled and marshaled the back line. But you know what has caught my eye and what I've been impressed more about in respect to Thiago Silva? It isn't just his defensive attributes and skills and abilities. It's the way that he's able to ping those long range passes from our defense to our attack hitting Zia, hitting Pulisic, Werner, Abraham, you know, the lads up front. He's able to do that. And he's been, and he's been able to do that quite well. Um, you know, it reminds me a little bit of a certain Brazilian that we had in defense in the past who used to do that pretty well as well. So I'm really impressed to see Thiago Silva, you know, get into his element and is able to contribute moving forward. 
as well as defending when we're getting attacked. So those attributes that Thiago Silva has are starting to shine through and uh, we are able to see other sides of his game, not just his uh, defensive attributes. And apparently uh, the man's English is getting better as well, as uh, stated by Frank Lampard, especially the uh, footballing terms. So I'm glad to see that he's able to communicate better with his teammates. Now we've got the midfield lads, it's going to be Kante and Mount with either Jorginho or Kovacic. You know, um, three in the midfield. 4-3-3. So Mount will definitely be starting with uh, Kante. And I have a feeling it's going to be Kovacic to, uh, to join them in midfield. Now in regards to the front line, Ziyech, personally, personally, Ziyech, Callum hudson Adoy, Timo Werner. Okay, Ziyech on the right, Hadoy on the left, Werner down the center. That's how I want to say it, but that's not what's going to happen. Lampard doesn't want to play Callum hudson Adoy. It is what it is, lads. So it's probably going to be Ziyech on the right, Werner on the left, and Tammy Abraham down the middle. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing Giroud, but it's going to be Tammy Abraham down the middle. Now, lads, I apologize for not putting a graphic. Didn't have time to do it. So the team is really picking itself with a few minor adjustments here and there. Anyway, lads, uh, I'm not going to give you a scoreline, a score prediction, because I haven't done that for the last few matches. We've kept a clean sheet. We've kept a clean sheet. So I'm going to continue not giving you a score prediction, but I'm going to give you a result. I think we're going to win. Yeah, I think we're going to win. And I've been right over the past couple of games. Uh, I don't want to jinx it because I know I've done this for the past few videos and you know everything's gone perfectly well. So I don't want to jinx it. So I'm just going to say we're going to win. So lads, uh, down below, let me know. What do you reckon is going to be the scoreline for this fixture? And lads, right now on the screen over here, you're going to see some videos. Uh, if you haven't seen them already, go check them out. Give my channel some support. Give my channel some love. I'd really appreciate that. Have a great day, lads. Take care of yourselves. And I'll catch you in my next upload. Peace out.